for an easy warm getaway the Bahamas just a hop skip and a jump from the tri-state oh yes this place is beautiful located just 50 miles off Florida's coast Bimini is the closest Bahamian island to the U.S. and tonight our world citizen Fitzhenley takes us there there's a little known place not far off the coast of South Florida that has all the telltale signs of a laid back tropical paradise. Primed and ready to meet the demands of an ever expanding travel boom that has hit these islands in recent years. This is Bimini, one of over 700 islands in the archipelago known as the Bahamas. It's a small quiet island with a population of only around 2000. And in recent years, it's been known primarily for its world-class game fishing and proximity to the US. I'm gonna get in this water and it's gonna be really, really nice and I ain't gonna wanna come out. And that's what most people say when they come to these parts. The crystal clear waters of this part of the Atlantic Ocean stretch for as far as the eyes can see, making it a perfect place for free diving spear fishers like Charlie Slater. I'm gonna go down and attract some uh, odd fish, maybe spear one. Charlie is a former race car driver and engineer from South Florida who comes here every year to get away from it all and he spends most of his time underwater searching for dinner. Lobster feed in the grass at night. Uh, when the sun comes up, they tend to try to find some place to hide. And if they're hiding anywhere near this island, they may just be hiding under some ancient history. Long before this island made its mark on the world as a vacation destination, it was at the heart of a developing new world. So I went in search of some of Bimini's past. The artifacts that I have housed there go way back to the uh, indigenous Indians. Come on in, let me show you around. Ashley Saunders is a local historian and proprietor of the Dolphin House Museum and Store. Uh, I got artifacts there from the slave days, and I have artifacts there from the days of piracy and the days of the uh, modern settlers of Bimini, which is my people. The younger folks coming up, the younger generation, students, can come in here and see, for instance, what an uh, island might have looked like in their grandfather or great-grandfather days. Take me back to Bimini 50 years ago. Well, 50 years ago, you'll see more palm trees, no motor vehicles, uh, None. no electrical lights, people cooking on wooden fires. And it's this ability to live off the land while finding abundance in the sea that is now reflected in Bimini's signature dish, conch. And nowadays, there's only one place to get it here, and that's Joe's Conk Shack. All right. Train him. Get him a dozen. Every day for almost a decade, Joe meets local fishermen outside his shack early in the morning for the day's catch. And it will be moving. He cracks, cleans, and prepares each conch for the variety of dishes he serves. You can make conch chowder, you make conch flitters. There's all sorts of different ways that you can do it. What's the conch. best way? The best way? For me, us, the men, uh, it's right. the salad. It's raw, it's pure, and it's solid. It's all muscle and it's good. Yeah, too. People come from all over the world to taste Joe's conch creations, and business is booming. That's what they always call me, the king of conch. That's the name they give me. That's the name they give me. That's the name they give me because, uh, you know, I got so much uh, customers, like from out of Miami, New York, and all sorts of different places. So you're places. international. I'm international. And around here, Everybody believes that conch is the key to a great life. A great love life, that is. Conk has always been good. Conk is known the same to make a lot of children. Don't eat too much of it because you'll have plenty of kids. So you got to be very careful Word with that. Word to the wise. <laughs> you got to be to very the careful with how you eat too much of conch <laughs> salad, you know? And with all this talk of seafood, it's time to go in search of my own catch. Until our next journey on World Citizen. Nice. Yeah, it's conch fritter, conch chowder. I kind of think of it as like the Caribbean calamari, to be honest with you. Yeah, it, re it really is. Yeah. I mean, it's abundant. It's there. Did you see the piles yes. loaded up behind him? I mean, yes. they're, they're, they're in go mode there. And the closer to nature, the better. The less stuff they put on it is the way the locals oh, like absolutely. it. That's a good lesson for all well, of us. Well, when you're getting it right out of the ocean, right there yeah. and eating it, you don't, need to fry you don't have to disguise it. Mm -hmm. Still alive. Wow. Good deal, all right? Nice life. Nice life. <laughs> you try. Thanks, Fitz. Thank you.